In this video, we're going to look at creating sub clips in Avid Media Composer. Now, sub clipping is the process of taking a longer clip, a longer video, and cutting it down into smaller chunks. All right, and it's very easy, very simple process to do. Now, for example, maybe we have this shot here. Now, this clip is only 22 seconds long, but if you have longer clips, maybe 10 minute clips, five minute clips, even one minute clips, if you don't want to say cut in this whole clip, I'll delete this one here. We'll just cut in this clip. And we know we're only going to want to use a little bit of it. Well, then we have to trim it down. Okay. Or of course we could go through and say, I want this part. We'll mark it in and then mark it out. And we start building up our sequence like that. But maybe we're not ready to build up our sequence. Maybe right now we're just looking for the best shots. So that's where sub clipping really comes into play. Right here we have our actor, Ma. <laughs> and this clip is pretty long. It's like seven minutes long or so. Okay, so what we want to do is go through here and find the good shots and we'll sub clip those out. Okay, so see right here is a good shot. We'll mark an in. We can use our keyboard, just the arrows on our keyboard. Or we could, of course, scroll forward with the mouse and say right there is where we want to mark it out. So we mark it out. Now I'm going to actually create a new bin first. You don't have to, you can drag your sub clips into your main bin or whatever bin you want. But I want to create a new bin here. And let's go ahead and rename this to sub clips. Okay. We'll just set this down here for now. So right here we have our shot marked. And if we come up here in this upper corner, you can see we got a pop-up that says create sub clip. And it's just that easy. So just grab this here, drag it down, and there we go. There we have a sub clip. And you can see the difference in the icon for the here's a sub clip, then here's a normal full clip. Okay. So now if we load this into the source monitor here, you can see this is only one second clip. So then let's go back to, we'll go to this one and say we like this shot here. So we'll mark it in, play through a little bit, and we'll mark it out there. And let's throw this into our sub clip. There's another sub clip for a shot. Then we can keep going through and find all the shots that we want that we think are good. So there's another one we'll say is good. We'll just keep sub clipping this out. And once we get done, actually, we could even structure this out almost like a storyboard. Let's actually create a few more sub clips first. So let's load up a new clip here. And we'll just go from here, mark it out there. We'll grab a sub clip, throw it in here. Go through all of our clips. We have so many clips to go through. So we're marking the best parts of the clip that we want. So that way, when it comes time to actually edit, we have all the smaller clips to work with. Much easier to build up your sequence that way. All right, so this will just kind of give you the idea of making a sub clip. Then once we have everything uh, clipped out here, sub clipped out, just grab them all and we could throw them into our sequence. And there we go. Pretty cool. Now, of course, this makes no sense here, <laughs> the way it's structured now. But that is the idea of sub clipping, of taking longer clips using your in and out exactly where you want and creating a smaller sub clip, something that's easier to work with once you get down to creating your main sequence. Okay, so that is all for sub clipping, a very nice process for finding the best parts of a clip, making them into smaller, easier to manage little chunks. So that way when it comes time to edit, it, it should be a little bit quicker. You're not having to uh, load up entire long clips you already have the best clips already sub clipped out. You can build up your sequence much faster. In the next video, we're going to actually use our uh, green screen shots here. And I'll show you how to key out that green screen and put a background behind your actor.